Assalamualaikum and very good day. So for this uh, solution example, uh, sorry, for this problem solution steps, we're going to do, uh, we're going to we're going to solve uh, the ideal reheat Rankine cycle. So um, remember in the theory lecture, uh, I mentioned about um, there is another way to improve the uh, efficiency of Rankine cycle by using the reheat uh, process or the reheat phase which means uh, from we only have four points now we have uh, overall six points so what is the main element of the uh, reheat Rankine cycle definitely they have high turbine and low turbine which means uh, that the high pressure turbine is uh, supplied by uh, high pressure uh, high pressure um, steam and then after it's, uh, the steam leaves the turbine it will reheat again at point number four to the boiler and then come back to the low pressure turbine however the temperature is remain the same or more or less okay let's read the question consider a steam power plant operating on ideal reheat ring cycle the steam enters the high pressure turbine at 15 megapascal and 600 celsius and is condensed in the condenser at pressure of 10 kilopascal so if the moisture content of the steam at the exit of low pressure turbine ini dekat mana dekat sini eh bila dia dah exit ni moisture content dia is uh, 10.4%. So nanti kita tengok macam apa maksud uh, not exceed that uh, not exceed 10.4% uh, tu. So they ask us A the, uh, determine the pressure at which the steam should be reheat uh, maksudnya reheat kat mana? Reheat dekat uh, sebelum dia masuk ke low pressure turbine So berapa sebenarnya P pada point ini Okay And then the second uh, The same question like uh, in my previous video On the thermal efficiency So let's do the first question Question A Question A They want us to uh, measure uh, P reheat so uh, before we know what is the pressure 0.5 we have to go to uh, because because a 0.5 in this diagram uh, diagram there, diagram 0.5 and 0.6 it is isentropic maksudnya the entropy at 0.5 and 6 is the same so we go to point 6 dulu lah kan tengok kat point 6 uh, so point 6 pressure at point 6 is equal to berapa 10 kPa kan sebab apa uh, point 6 ni inilah dia pressure nya 10 kPa um, and then uh, we don't know much about uh, about uh, the entropy at point 6 however it is given in the question the moisture content of the steam at the exit of low pressure turbine is not to exit 10.4 percent uh, 10.4 percent so apa maksud 10.4 percent maksudnya x uh, at 0.6 ni must be equal to 100 percent ataupun 1 uh, dia kata 10.4 percent Maksudnya, kita tukarlah 10.4 ni persen, kita tukar kepada persen eh, biasa, titik puluhan saja 0.14. So, 1 minus 0.104. Then, we get the exit as 0.896, which is, this is the saturated mixture. Saturated mixture. Okay, now what we can do, we have x6, x6 um, fraction at 0.6 uh, equal to 0.896. Then we can calculate for entropy at 0.6. So entropy, remember, it is always uh, at this uh, expression. Okay, SF plus 
entropy uh, sorry fraction at 6 times uh, entropy at fluid and gas so and then you get the value uh, 0 uh, SF ni ambil dekat mana SF kita definitely boleh ambil daripada 0.1 dia sama kan 10 kilopascal belaka uh, SFG ni juga adalah sama juga ambil daripada Uh, calculation ataupun mixture pada 10 kPa juga uh, bukan P1 eh, 10 kPa uh, 10 kPa so kita boleh dapatlah nilainya 0.6492 plus 0.896 uh, times uh, lepas SFG kita 7.4996 so kita dapat S6 equal to 7.3688 kilojoule per kilogram Okay, knowing at 6, then we can calculate enthalpy at 0.6. Enthalpy at 0.6 is equal to HF. HF mana nak ambil ni? HF again pada 0.1 uh, ataupun 10 kPa plus X6 uh, times uh, HFG uh, ataupun enthalpy yang ni lah, yang overall, uh, sorry, pada 0.1. So, 191.81 plus 0.896 times 200, uh, 2000. Okay, uh, 92.1. Hmm? Okay, then we get the value 2335.1 kJ per kilogram. Okay. Okay, after knowing this, what we have to do, so we write as this, uh, we can try to figure out what is the value at 0.5 so um, we know at 0.5 we don't know the pressure at 0.5 but we know the temperature at 0.5 which is 600 celsius eh? it maintains and we know that entropy at 0.5 is equal to entropy at 0.6 because it's isentropic so what we have to do is we have to check in the in the uh, apa nama ni uh, table we know that at 0.5 ni 0.5 dekat mana 0.5 dekat sini kan dia adalah dalam keadaan superheated uh, superheated condition so table berapa kita nak tengok uh, kita kena tengok table refer to table A6 so tuan-tuan boleh tengok dekat sini Uh, table A6 Kalau kita tengok table A6 yang ni Ada ke yang sesuai Caranya adalah Pertama kita tengok 600 Celsius uh. Tak ada 600 Celsius Tak ada 600 Celsius kat sini So dah agak manual lah eh Agak manual Ok then kita tengok entropi dia Entropi dia Entropi dah dapat tadi kan S5 equal to S6 Kita tengok entropi dia Adakah entropinya uh, Lebih kurang macam yang kita dapat Iaitu uh, Entropinya adalah 2000 uh, sorry 6.369 uh, ataupun 8 kita tengok pada poin yang pertama uh, tengok eh entropinya dah 8 ni 7.9 ni 7.87 tak sama eh poin ini pun tak ini pun tak jauh ni jauh hmm? so it's not from this table so we have to check at another table so bila kita check dekat another table ini eh, pada point ini pula Kita check, uh, macam tadi juga Kita check kat sini, kat sini, dan kat sini kan So, tengok pada 600 uh, degree Celsius And then kita tengok entropi So, entropi kita adalah 7.36 Kita tengok, uh, okay, ni dah dekat lah uh, eh? This one, dah dekat lah Sebab 7.37 dekat lah How about pada uh, 4.5 pascal, jauh Ni jauh, 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 ni The nearest one is this So, P ni adalah 4 megapascal. So kita boleh ambil daripada itu dapatlah kita bahawa pressure at this condition is 4 megapascal. That's the final answer for question A. For question B. Okay, for this video I will not do Uh, step by steps I want you to go back to the previous video that I provided uh, in that video I uh, clearly mentioned how we can uh, get the thermal efficiency of a cycle measuring each point in the in the cycle so ada setiap ini 
uh, enthalpy adalah uh, sorry eff uh, thermal efficiency adalah 1 minus Q out over Q in uh, so akan ada calculation yang berbeza sedikit kalau kita pakai uh, ideal rankan cycle saja yang ada 4 point so dalam ini yang berbezanya hanyalah uh, steam kita akan ada uh, sedikit berbeza iaitu H3 minus H2 plus H5 minus H4 Q out pula adalah H6 minus H1 okay, kalau tuan-tuan tengok kat mana tu dekat sini hmm? tuan dekat sini ini adalah uh, bendanya eh? ini kan so inilah dia yang kita tengok so Q in ni dekat mana Q in ni adalah Q in ni adalah pada point 1 eh, sorry point 2 and point 3 and then another Q in iaitu Q in pada 4 dengan 5 macam mana ada Q in 2 kali sebab sini ada sekali Q in daripada boiler and then kita ada Q in sekali lagi iaitu Q in yang kedua daripada daripada reheat punya proses how about uh, Q out Q out uh, memang sama saja Q out dia akan ada daripada uh, condenser so Q out you see 6 and 1 that's why 6 and 1 ok so you do the calculation then you get uh, the final answer for the efficiency for this as 45% uh, way better than the normal ideal Rankine cycle ok I think that's all for this question thank you